here. So hi everybody, welcome to our last night of debriefing. Um, this week I have loved circling up with you each night and hearing about your pictures of the day. Those are those like snapshot moments that stand out in your mind that you say, I, I have to take a picture of this. In, in your brain more so than in real life, but sometimes we take them in real life too. And I've loved getting to hear yours. We're working our way through this debriefing circle. We've talked about the experiences that we've had and we've taken the time to stop and reflect on them and think about how that's leading to change and what we think about ourselves, what we think about God and what we think about other people. That ultimately it's gonna lead us to new action, to new steps of faith and new steps outside of our comfort zone that lead us back to more experiences. But right now I wanna focus on your pictures of the day and I'm gonna kinda challenge you because I don't want you to just pick your picture of the day. This time, we're gonna pick your picture of the week. So what is the moment that has most stood out to you this week? Do you have a brave volunteer that wants to go first? I'll go first. Great. So um, my picture of the week is just sitting back and watching my son interact with a little boy um, named Marcus. And he, um, just the way that they interacted together and the way that they played, I, I knew that there was some kind of a connection that was taking place. And the fact that he and I can come down here and um, grow in our bond together, but also um, seeing what's happening in his life is, is something I'm gonna keep with me. And, um, you know, he started uh, talking about, you know, sponsoring Marcus and, and really wanting to continue that connection. and. Owen is adopted in my family too and the fact that he can relate that to our family um, I think is something that's not just going to stay with us here in Mexico but it's going to go with us um, and kind of ex expand into our family and, and kind of I feel like it's going to be a game changer for us so that's that's what I'm taking away so my favorite picture of the day this week was when we were mixing and pouring concrete at Bethany Children's Home. The work was hard and it was fun and gave me a lot of satisfaction. But probably what stood out to me the most was when Maria, one of the caregivers at the home, made us those tacos. She even came around while we were working, you know, and, and reminded us to stay hydrated and drink water. And I, I guess I just came here thinking that I'm the giver and they're the receivers. Like, I'm the hero in the story or something. But Maria helped me realize how arrogant I was. Of course she has something to give, and, and she wants to give it. So if I hadn't accepted what she wanted to give me, I, I would have sent the message that she doesn't have anything to offer. I guess I just realized that it's my pride that makes it hard for me to receive from others, and even from God. So when I get home, I want to be more humble. Definitely in the way I give, but also in the way that I receive. So before today, um, I really didn't uh, know or was too clear on my purpose on being here or why I came. Um, my past wasn't great at all, and I feel like at times I didn't have anything to offer anybody. Um, I really came here to see more of the world and just to you know be out of Cincinnati. Um, everything kind of changed, though, when I had dinner with the kids uh, in the Hope House. Um, I got to realize that their story is, like, not that different from mine. You know, they dream about the future, like finishing school or getting a job and really taking care of their families one day. And I realized, you know, maybe the reason for me being here is to really learn how I can help others. You know, my story and, and the lessons that I had to learn can help others overcome, you know, just like the people in my life who helped me overcome. You know, and I don't know what that really looks like when I get home exactly, but I really can't wait to figure it out. Well, I think that about wraps it up for the week. Um, I just want to take a minute and say thank you one more time for sharing your week with me, for sharing your stories, for letting me be a small part of the experiences that you had here. We've had all these great experiences this week. We've reflected on them. We've talked about the change. And now it's time for action. It's time to keep walking this out when you go home. Because what we don't want is we don't want this to be a mountaintop experience for you. Because after a mountain comes a valley, we want this to be a launching pad that 
propels you into action, that propels you into action that affects the community right where you live. Because God is just as, as much at work in the town that you're from as he is in Mexico. Um, the goal would be that you would learn to take steps of faith and live missionally wherever God takes you. So I would encourage you to share your action steps with the people around you so that they know what you're planning to do um, and that you would have the courage to walk it out. Because every time we take new action steps, we have new experiences, and the cycle just keeps going and going, and God shapes us to be more and more like him. So that's my prayer for you as you go home. Um, I hope you have a safe trip, and uh, come back and visit. <laughs>